Hey underwater photographers, welcome back to day seven of the Redive project. Uh, the Redive project is a photo marathon on Instagram that we have initiated in order to raise awareness for the diving industry. And we are asking photographers from all over the world to share their amazing photos with us one subject at a time. Just like every other day, I will be giving you my own personal tips on how to shoot these daily subjects. And in the end, all of these tips will be posted on one ultimate guide to shooting marine life underwater, which will be posted on our blog at Mosaic Underwater Cameras. So today's theme is crabs. All right, so let's get started with the tips. So tip number one for shooting crabs. Uh, crabs are everywhere, literally everywhere. They're so easy to find. All you need to do is look for the moving shells. Like if you look on the sandy bottom, you're, you're pretty much almost go always going to find uh, a shell that is moving and that's most likely a hermit crab or some other type of crab uh, that is moving along the, the sandy bottom. And if you look into coral, um, yeah, probably like pretty much any type of coral, you'll be able to find crabs as well and they're great for shooting. So crabs are kind of weird, okay? So their eyes are, you know, they kind of pop out of their heads sometimes and they look really funny. But your goal as the photographer, even though it's difficult, is to find the eyes and try to focus on them. Even if the eyes are kind of, you know, popped out or in a weird position of some sort, then you still need to try and focus on the eyes because in the end they are the most important part of the subject. Uh, another problem with crabs is sometimes their eyes are not in the front. Sometimes their eyes are kind of in the middle and it's really hard to focus on their eyes instead of their snout or whatever, their front, you know, their front part instead of the eyes. All right, uh, another tip is to shoot at night. So at night, just like a lot of other subjects that I've spoke about, crabs tend to go out at night and uh, look for prey. So they will be, again, pretty much everywhere and they will be just roaming the reef. So it's much easier to find, especially the bigger crabs. The smaller crabs, sometimes you can find during the day, but the bigger crabs tend to hide during the day. And then at night, you'll probably be able to see them walking around and they're really pretty like this one here in the photo. Now the problem with crabs, especially those that are hiding really well inside the coral, is that you have to be really, really, really good with lighting, which means that if you're using strobes or whatever light you're using, you're gonna have a very hard time making sure light is reaching the subject. This is one of the most difficult things in macro in general, but specifically for crabs, uh, like this photo that I shot here, the crab was hiding so well, and if you look into these types of corals, you'll be able to find crabs almost always, but they hide so well that it's hard enough to point your camera at them, let alone you know, add a strobe as well to somehow fit through the cracks and manage to light up the subject. So what you wanna do is really find that perfect position of your strobe, even move it you know, one inch to the left, one inch to the right, and kind of find the exact position where the light is hitting the subject precisely and then you're able to get some light on it. Now crabs are almost also masters of disguise. That's why it's sometimes pretty hard to find them. Uh, just like the decorator crab that can simply put, it can actually put on himself coral and sponge and anemone and all sorts of stuff in order to disguise himself, then it becomes really difficult to find them. However, when you do find one, then it's beautiful, you know, because it's so cool to take a shit photo of something and then, oh my god, it's actually a crab and simply hiding. So do try and look for those uh, really neat crabs. Uh, this is another example where this crab, it was, he was almost invisible and he was hiding next to a Christmas tree worm, as you can see, and it's almost impossible to see him if you don't look really, really close. Now, arrow crabs are really one of my favorite subjects because they're so, first of all, they're pretty big, so they're easy to find. Second of all, they're very, very friendly. So they don't, they don't really mind the divers, and most, di most crabs don't mind divers at all, but especially arrow crabs, they would simply hold their position. Maybe they would back away a little bit when you approach them. But in general, there's no problem getting super close to arrow crabs, and you can practice all you want. If you have a new diopter, if you have a new um, you know, light or whatever you want to try out, then use arrow crabs in order to practice on them because in the Caribbean they're everywhere 
and it's really, really easy to find them and very easy to access them as well because usually they hang out outside. Uh, maybe they're underneath a coral, maybe they're kind of on the bottom or whatever, but usually it's fairly easy to access them compared to other subjects. Uh, just like this one as well, which was hiding inside a sponge, and that's one of my favorite photos, only taken with a compact camera, uh, just an arrow crab hiding inside a sponge. Uh, by the way, one of the difficult things that I spoke about before is focusing on the eyes of the arrow crabs. It's really challenging because they have that thingy, you know, that arrow on the front of their heads, which usually our cameras tend to try and focus on that. So what you want to do is really try to find the eyes and focus specifically on the eyes instead of that bump on their heads. All right, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the tips and uh, keep posting your own photos on your Instagram profile and use the hashtag Redive Project by UW Cameras, which is the Mosaic Underwater Cameras Instagram account. And I will see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.